we're about ready to go back into the back shop to use the drill press. Once again, you must follow all safety rules at all times. That includes the general and miscellaneous that we already went over at the beginning of the rotation. Once again, you need to remember the ABCs of safety, always being careful. So the first thing we need to do, put on our safety glasses to make sure we're prepared to go in the back. Once again, it can be kind of noisy back there. There's optional hearing protection that you can wear so you don't end up deaf like me. When you put them on, they simply go over your ears. It will muffle a good 40 decibels of that noise. If you don't need them, don't lay them on a table. Put them around your neck. At the end of class, hang them back up. Shirt is tucked in. And coat or jacket is taken off. And anybody with long hair ties it back. All right, now we need to measure accurately and mark the center of the hole to be drilled before selecting the correct drill press. Now, what that means, we need to take our measuring tool, in this case, a ruler, and we're going to double check. We already have our mark, but we are gonna double check before we actually drill the hole in the center, okay? So we go corner to corner. We're good there. And then we go over here, corner to corner, and we're good there as well. So now we know for sure that this is the center. All right, so right now you'll see that we have four drill presses. Seventh grade will use all four drill presses, but your instructor or the certain step that you are on will tell you which drill press to use. But you will need to double check with your instructor on which drill press to use. Because depending on your project, you could be using one and two, say for the clock, there is also the countersink at number three, right over there. And then number four is stem enrichment. And it could be a very well be a different bit size. So definitely double check on which drill press to use. Align the drill bit with the center mark of your material. So here's your material. Here's the center mark. And we're gonna adjust it down and put the tip towards the very center mark of your material. Use a strong left hand or clamp to hold the material down while using your right hand to pull the feed wheel down into your material. Now with a clamp, you can have a partner grab the clamp and you can tighten it as such or you can loosen it by pulling that lever back. So you're gonna have your partner take the clamp apply it to your material and they are going to squeeze the handle as shown to tighten the material. Also after you get done clamping make sure to double check your center material. Line it up with the drill bit. All right now we're good. The drill bit will go down to a depth specified by your instructor. So right here you will see there are some numbers you turn it, notice that it stops at zero. That is because the instructor set it to go down to that depth. All right, so on some of the other drill presses, you'll notice that there is a stop right here that actually blocks and stops the drill press. So once again, it will go down to a depth specified by our instructor. Yeah. Yep. All right, so notice that this material goes underneath the drill bit but if we come down with the drill bit, yeah. notice it stops at the depth specified and does not go completely all the way through. If your material gets stuck on the drill bit and starts to spin, step back and tell your instructor immediately. When finished, absolutely make sure the drill press is powered off and watch the bit come to a complete stop before you walk away. 
When finished, make sure you take the clamp off if you have a clamp on. And use a dust broom or a shop vac to clean up the mess.